Hello and welcome back to the channel, I'm Miss Crashy, and today I wanted to do a video in response to a question that I get asked rather often, and that question is, Crashy, what are some good Pokemon to pick for a duo? So today I compiled a list of my top five duos to pick. These are going to be specifically centered around laning as well. So if you're actually playing in the lane, obviously you could throw in some junglers and play any of these characters with a friend playing a strong jungler. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive into it. This is also not in any particular order, but let's go ahead and look at it. So number one on the list is going to be Mamo, Swine, and Ninetales. Now, this is not, like I said, the strongest duo pairing on this list, but if you have haven't played this freeze lane you have to give it a try this lane can dominate it can slow them freeze them stun them do good damage it is incredibly strong now obviously playing nine tails after most recent buffs and even the nerf that happened uh, following the buff it's still just one of the better lane attackers in the entire game and that's what i'm really focusing on are just really really strong pokemon for this list so if you haven't definitely dive in with a friend play some mammo play some nine tails dominate the lane and then try to carry that lead throughout the game if you can you know mammo swine's not the strongest defender in the roster but can carry its weight going into the mid and late game pretty well scales pretty decently doesn't have the strongest unite move but overall nine tails scales very very well so that kind of duo pairing should fit pretty well for the game all right number two on the list is going to be wiggly tough and pikachu now this is a very very solid lane you see this enter the tri lane meta uh you know with an extra support in competitive but just really really strong wiggly tough one of the most like strongest support kind of tanks in the game if you don't know wiggly tough definitely plays more on the tank side of things brings a ton of cc to the table has one of the best unite moves in the entire game and then pikachu a lot like ninetales is that strong really really strong lane sp attacker so definitely want to be taking pikachu into lane the thing about this this setup is that it's just cc a lot like mammo ninetales just a different kind you have cute charm into sing into pikachu's web and then you start getting you know thunder thunderbolt combos off and this this pairing scales incredibly well pikachu scales perfectly fine wiggly scales great in delay game and then you just have spammable unite moves from pikachu you can hold lanes really really well this lane is really really dominant i'll tell you a trick about any of these lanes too well especially lane one and lane two if i'm a jungler i'm ganking those lanes just saying throwing that out there lanes one and lanes two that i just uh, like put on the on the on the screen on the video those are lanes i'm 100 ganking as a jungler so something to think about Oh, and lanes one and two, both go bot lane. <laughs> Number three, Lucario Hoopa. Lucario Hoopa, I think, is just a solid lane. Now, obviously, we know in the 113 meta, Lucario can solo top. So, obviously, it can solo top and go duo top with Hoopa in top lane. So, um, this next lane following it is, is very similar, but we'll get to that in a second. Lucario, obviously, one of the strongest all rounders in the game, has crazy potential to stomp a lane, stack an attack weight, get super, super fed, rotate down to Dreadnought, and just carry that lead into the rest of the game and that's what you want right you want things that are incredibly strong in the early game they're going to carry that 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 advantage into the mid game post dreadnought and into the rest of the game to try to close it out and then hoopa hoopa's hoopa you have trick shadow ball if you're going to be going that build that's crazy you have the reset potential and the healing from hyperspace hole if you want to go that that build but the reality is that hoopa is a unite move you can send your lucario friend top lane around second dreadnought to kind of you know like maximize your scoring potential and then hoopa you know that unite them in you can back cap potentially at the zapdos fights potentially not necessarily the best choice but you could potentially back cap and then hoopa unite them in either way hoopa unite is incredibly strong so both of these characters again are very very strong in the meta number four is also a top lane uh pairing it's going to be machamp eldegoss now you can kind of see that I could have gone Lucario Eldegoss or Machamp Hoopa, or, you know, or the way that I'm doing it. I don't really think it matters. I just want to give you some strong options and you can mix and match how you want. But yeah, Machamp, another amazingly strong top laner. You put that in the top lane, you get stacking an attack weight. You have a support to help you out, whether it's Hoopa or Eldegoss. Really, really strong. Eldegoss, let's be real. It's really strong, especially in solo queue. Eldegoss is kind of slightly fallen out of the meta in competitive, but Eldegoss with a muscle band, you throw maybe um, some choice specs on it for extra damage and healing or a focus band in the lane. You're going to be bullying people with Eldegoss like you're an AD carry, like you're an attack damage uh, character. But realistically, you're there for a giant heal. You're there for a leaf tornado to heal and shield your Machamp, your Lucario, your teammates, whatever you're playing. 
incredibly strong. All right, number five, and this one scales really, really well, but the laning phase is not the best, so you have to kind of deal with it. That's going to be Blissey and Venusaur. Blissey Venusaur is that unkillable duo pairing. Now, you don't have the rest of the support, like for the actual full unkillable Venusaur comp where you're running like Eldegoss on top of that, but Blissey Venu scales so well together. They are okay in lane. I'm not going to say you shouldn't lose the lane. You should, should be fine, uh, but Blissey's laning phase is just not that great, especially like in a 2-2 meta, you can get bullied by some of these other lanes in general, but they scale really, really well. So Blissey wanting to be focusing on, you know, shielding, uniting, and uh, using Helping Hand on Venusaur, and then Venusaur, Giga, and uh, Petal Dance, right? You just run in, do all that damage, really try to hyper-focus farming to level 13 on Venu. When I lane Venu, at some point you gotta go, go and start getting jungle, right? Like post Dreadnought, whenever jungle's up, like you just have to prioritize farming. Venusaur is a farm monster, so definitely get in there and farm as much as possible. Now, like I said, whenever I wanted to build this list, that's my top five list for, for duo pairings for laning. Um, there are some honorable mentions that I kinda wanna hit and make sure that we're talking about as well. Um, so I have a number six that has a few picks on it that I think are incredibly strong. Uh, number six is Slowbro. Slowbro is a defender that you can pretty much pair in lane with anybody. Uh, so if you want to pick Slowbro and go with any of these other picks, uh, so like Slowbro Ninetale, Slowbro Pika, you know, Slowbro Machamp or Lucario or Venusaur, like you could definitely do that. Slowbro has Water Gun, which is really good for securing farm in the laning phase. And in general, Slowbro just has a crazy strong Unite move with the level 11 Surf, which level 11 Surf Plus is really crazy CC. So definitely don't sleep on Slowbro if you want to pick it. I just don't see Slowbro having any like inherent like synergy with anybody else, so I didn't put it in the list immediately. Now, also in this number six like list is Greedent. Greedent is incredibly strong for solo queue, but again, I can't really quite think of anything that specifically pairs with Greedent. So same thing, you can run Greedent with just about anything in the top lane, stack that attack weight, you could do invade strategy if you want to, and last but not least is going to be Blastoise. Blastoise, jungle, Blastoise, lane. This character is really strong for solo queue. You can do crazy damage with rapid spin build, and yeah, I just think that it's worth bringing up to say that, hey, while I did want to compile a top five list of strong duo laners, there are other laners that you can kind of mix and match in this list. So don't be afraid to grab a friend and try it out. So friends, thank you so much for watching the video. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below what uh, duo pairing have you been finding is working with you and a friend or maybe in a trio. You know, you, you throw, think about it. You throw together a duo pairing like this, you put a friend in the jungle, and that should at least give you nice, solid infrastructure for hope carrying and winning a game so as always be sure to be kind of one another tell someone you love them and i'll see you on the next video